November 13th, 1989. The Lord Speaks. Peace be with you, my child. Evangelize with love, for love. Ecclesia shall revive, because I, the Lord, shall overthrow all the impostors who have placed themselves in high seats within her. Daughter, remove these thorns that pierce my head, thorns that cause me so much bleeding. Do not fear them, daughter, for I am beside you, and I tell you truly that with my power and my great mercy I shall overthrow each one of these. You see, my child, all heaven was too long in mourning for your sister so unloved. For years we are swallowing our bitter tears. O Russia, mere creature of flesh, evil coiled in your very womb, creature of mere dust and ashes, I, the Most High, shall resurrect you, for I am the resurrection. I shall nurse you back to life, and I shall, with my finger upon you, transfigure you into a glorious nation, as I was transfigured. You shall be majestically dressed in dazzling white robes, and all heaven shall thrust away its mourning garments, and heaven's bitter tears shall turn into joyful tears. All heaven will celebrate your resurrection, and all the martyr saints who prayed without ceasing by the feet of your Holy Mother for her intercession, shall in this day too, together with my mother and her innumerable holy angels, all descend in your children's homes and make their home together with them. I then shall feed them my body and offer them my blood to drink. Russia shall eat me and drink me with great love, praising me. My Russia shall be the living example of your times and for generations to come because of her great conversion. Your sister so unloved by many shall renounce all her evil behaviour and shall call me her God with all her might. Vasula, can you hear? Listen. Listen to your sister's children's laments. The footnote reads, Here I started to weep, not only for Russia's children who suffer, but also because God sounded so sad, beyond description. Her children are lamenting, and there is wailing. It is my Russia's children who are weeping. All heaven plainly hears their grieving. Heaven is deeply moved by their distress, and I, who have never ceased loving her, now am near her dead body, my hand upon her cold heart. And her bones will flower again from her tomb, and, sh and her name shall be well spoken of, for I shall adorn her and her sons and daughters. Hence, a covenant of peace and love shall be signed and sealed between me and her. I love her, and always have, even in her disloyalty towards me, and even in her wickedness I blessed her and blessed her. This shall be my glorious miracle. Just wait and see. Those who have fallen asleep in hatred, hating me for no reason, those too I shall bring back to life since they are her sons too, and still live in her womb. All these things shall soon take place. Daughter, I am the Holy One, the Most High. I am the Most Holy Trinity. Please me, and hear me, as you heard me today. Vasula writes, God seemed satisfied. Alleluia, our Anointed One. 
Delight the Lord and seek him in purity of heart. Seek him in simplicity of heart. We are your angels who guard you without ceasing. The footnote reads, This came from angels' voices. God loves you, and I, Daniel, am always with you. Stay small, for this is what pleases the Lord. The footnote reads, Daniel, my guardian angel. Vasula speaks. Ah, Daniel, how can I avoid the meetings where people start to know the revelation and me? How can I stay small? You know how I dislike being exposed. The angel speaks. Vasula, stay small means remain humble and pleasing to the Lord. Remember, it is the Lord's wish that you assemble. The footnote reads, the monthly prayer meetings. Have no fear. His message should be known. The world ought to come and meet the King of Peace. Your generation should recognise God and be converted. Give thanks to God for his merciful works. I, Daniel, pray without ceasing for you. God wants you to be good. Reveal his love to all mankind without fear. The Most High blesses you and all those who commit themselves in this message to announce it to the nations. The Lord speaks. Love loves you all. Signed, Ich this, Jesus Christ, God's Son and Saviour.